I looked at the cage that once had a bird in it. It was symbolic. My imagination kick-started and I wondered where it was now. I decided to have a coffee or maybe a tea. I chose to have a tea. In the end, tea felt cozy, warm and fuzzy. I closed my eyes and took a deep breath in. Gone was the time when we had tea and coffee together. Our journey started beautifully with so many moments that are now memories of the past that does not exist, only in my imagination. I feel I have lived this tale on my own because that is exactly what it is. A tale, a story to tell people about, a story to tell, a story to share and even bond with. How many people have the same story? Like trauma bond, there ought to be a story bond concept somewhere. If not, I am creating one, because this requires my honoring. I am so good at it. I am a dreamer. My imagination takes me places with the most amazing people. But you, you are so special. Actually, I changed my words. You are so special. Yes, because you fire my imagination. My heart finds solace in the pictures that I create in my mind. It feels so real. I want it to be real. So real it is. Who's going to stop me? You? My family? Friends? Society? Really? No one. I take ownership of my own travels, my travels all the way up to source, where love resides, where love originates from, all the way to source. I hope you have no objections because you jumped ship, you felt caged, you felt controlled, you felt imprisoned, just like the bird in the cage. But it was just your perception. For me, it was love. Just love. It was nurturing, it was inspiring, it was open, intense, unique, special. In the end, I opened the cage. I could not bear the fact that I was caging you in your thoughts, your feelings, your perceptions. So I opened the cage. And the bird flew, far, far away to never, never land, maybe to never come back. But in the end, who knows? In the meantime, with love.